Hey guys, Cameron here. In my last video, I showed you a real quick preview of the 2019 version of the Tarp Tent Double Rainbow as I was setting it up to uh, seam seal it. So I got that all done. It's a little while later and I'm gonna set it up and do a little more extensive review of this tent. Uh, this is an awesome tent. Like I said, I've had the older version of this tent before and decided to go with the updated version. I'm really excited about this tent. So uh, let me give you a few of the specs on it. I'll show you how to set it up, the different uh, ways it can be set up, some of the features of it, and uh, just some overall general opinions of this tent. All right, so this tent weighs in at 42 and a half ounces, which is a great weight for a two person tent. Um, for one person, it may be uh, lightweight or heavy, depending on what kind of backpacking you normally do. Um, but I think whenever you see all the features that this tent is loaded with, um, you'll see why the tent weighs what it does. Um, and keep in mind that that weight includes your tent, uh, seam ceiling, poles, guy lines, and stakes. That's everything you need uh, ready to go for 42 and a half ounces, which is a really good weight to me. Um, this thing is a palace for one person and uh, a lot of space for two people. So uh, let me set it up and I'll show you what I'm talking about. It only about. takes a few minutes. Uh, it's really simple and straightforward. That's one thing that I really like about this tent. Now there are a uh, couple just really slight differences than the older version. So uh, if you're used to the older version of this tent, you might want to pay attention. Um, just really subtle differences in the way we set this up. So let's set it up real quick and I'll show you how easy it is. Now one thing that is really cool about this tent uh, that is in the newer version is that it uh, doesn't have the uh, cross pole attached to it. That'd be the one that goes from side to side. So you're able to stuff the tent down inside instead of having to roll it up, which is good for someone like me because uh, I'm kind of lazy and I like to just stuff my tents down in the stuff sacks. That's why they're called stuff sacks, not roll sacks. So you just take your tent, black sides down, gray side is up, just like all the standard tarp tents. Shake it out to get it laid out flat. Then I'm going to go ahead and grab my poles. Now, whenever I had this tent before, I had a carbon fiber pole just to save some weight. Uh, tarp tent no longer offers that, and I believe the reason for that is durability. It just didn't meet their uh, standards that uh, they were used to, so they only offered this aluminum pole. It's still pretty lightweight and uh, definitely more durable than the carbon fiber one. Uh, not really a deal breaker for me. I wish they still offered the other one, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go with this one. So uh, this is one of your poles. Uh, it's pretty long. This is the pole that'll go from end to end of the tent and make the big arch. Uh, the other pole that you will find in the bag is this uh, small, just a two section pole. Now this is your cross pole. This one goes uh, side to side. Uh, and this is the one that I was saying before, used to be attached to the tent and uh, cause you to have to roll it up. Uh, they now have it uh, not attached to the tent and uh, you can just stick it in there as you're setting the tent up. So uh, you can set it, put it in there uh, before you're setting the tent up, but what I'm gonna do is go ahead and stick the uh, longer pole through, uh, kind of stake it out and then put this one in. So it's real simple the way this goes through. They got this bright yellow sleeve on here and that is where we're gonna put our pole in and it just slides straight through to the other side. All the way through the tent. And it is a pretty long run, so you may have to come to the other end. Just to help the end get out. On the other end, there is a small little uh, pocket that has Velcro on there for adjustment and is uh, attached to some grow gain. You just slide the end in that. Come back down to your original end, finish pushing the pole through, and you have the same thing on this end. And just slide your pole in there. Now these uh, are adjustable, so if you want it a little more taut or a little less taut, um, you're able to tighten that up or loosen it up. So that is the main structure for the tent. Now this is not a freestanding tent. You can't just put the pole in and leave it. It does have to be staked out in its original intended mode. There is a freestanding mode, which I'll show you here in a little bit. Um, but uh, one reason that I really like this and the reason that I kind of went with this tent is uh, I do a lot of having my tent set up and then going uh, out hiking for the day. And I don't like, say with 
the uh, Z-Pax duplex or even some tarp tents that use your trekking poles solely uh, for uh, the structure of the tent is you either have to completely take down your tent or you have to leave it just a pile of uh, material on the ground, which I don't like. So um, I like that this comes with a pole and uh, you're able to leave your tent set up while you go out for the day and do whatever it is that you need to do. So uh, it comes with uh, the stakes. They are included in the price, so you don't have to uh, buy those separately. They're included in the price and the weight of the tent. So keep that in mind. You will need six stakes to uh, set this up originally. Uh, it comes with these, uh, I believe it's pronounced Easton stakes. Um, they've been using these for a long time because every tarp tent that I've uh, ever bought comes with this type of stake and uh, they're pretty durable. So you just come down to one corner. It's got these uh, yellowish orange uh, guy lines already attached on here for you and just pull it out and stick it in. So normally the ground wouldn't be that easy here, uh, but it's been super rainy this year. And so they just slide right in, pretty neat. So we're gonna do one for each corner. corner and that uh, kind of popping you can hear that comes from uh, where I've seen sealed the tent last all right so at this point uh, you got the tent uh, the main structure of the tent set up this is where I'm gonna add in uh, my cross pole and that just goes right across the tent to pull it out there are some small grommets the pole just slides in each end. Okay, now you have the main structure of the tent. The only other thing we need to do is pull out the rain flies on each side to make the vestibule. And that's pretty much it. Uh, one thing that's really cool about this tent is uh, once you get it set up, initially putting your stakes in, uh, it's pretty close to how it needs to be set up. So I've got some other shelters, mainly like the Gatewood Cape, use the Z-Pax Duplex. Those, you're gonna put your stakes in. You might have to go around, move some stakes, tighten stuff up, which may not be a problem if the ground is like it is today. But most of the time the ground is rock hard and it's uh, really hard to get stakes in. You're gonna hit some rocks. You're gonna have to find a perfect place. So that's kind of annoying, but with this shelter, uh, super easy to set up. Once you put your stakes in, I mean, that's pretty much it. Now there are tensioners on each uh, guy line. So if the uh, fabric stretches a little bit, say from getting wet or uh, just whatever, you need to make any sort of adjustment to your initial setup. You can just go and pull these guy line tensioners to uh, make the tent tighter or looser in whatever corner you have. Uh, so uh, that is uh, pretty much setting the tent up. That's really easy. Um, I'll show you a few of the other modes you can set it up in. This is the mode that I would use 95% uh, of the time, uh, but there is a great way to set this up for good ventilation uh, when it's raining or just for great views uh, and still feel protected. And uh, you can also set this up in a freestanding mode uh, with your trekking poles, which I'll also show you. All right, so this is just your normal, uh, fully set up, fully sealed down, uh, normal mode. So your first opportunity for more ventilation is uh, their new feature that they have for 2019. And uh, that is having your doors uh, partially unzipped and uh, this part rolled back for a little wider gap. And the way they do this is there is a Velcro tab down here at the bottom of the door. And there's also a Velcro on the inside of this door about right here. So you're going to just unzip a little bit and be able to fold this back and Velcro it up 
and there you go. So now you have uh, complete rain protection still, but also more ventilation. And if you do this on both sides, uh, you should get a pretty nice uh, draft through there. So that's one way. Um, your uh, second way for more ventilation is to just your traditional way of completely unzipping and rolling the door completely out of the way. It's got a piece of Grogaine up here and the clip and you'll just clip this on like so and that holds your door back. Now you have uh, complete ventilation on a, a day when it's nice and you uh, may need to put the doors out but uh, may not. Now if you're not expecting any rain at all and you want to get a maximum amount of ventilation for this tent you can take your stake out right here or uh, slip your uh, guy line over the stake and roll this one back as well. So that just rolls back. You got another piece of Grogaine over here and another clip and you can probably do it a little neater than the way I did it uh, but this is what you can do on both sides to get maximum amount of ventilation so you'll be able to see all the way through the tent that way if the doors are both open and uh, get uh, extremely good airflow through there. All right, so now one of the coolest features of the tent, uh, one of the things that sold me about it originally uh, was this next way that the tent can be set up and it's uh, really cool. Um, it's kind of a porch mode for whenever it's raining or if you just want to set it up this way and have good views uh, while still being covered, uh, you can do that too. Um, something that the double rainbow has kind of hidden away that you wouldn't see is on the inside of this door here, they have another flap of material. This is just uh, extra material that is pinned back here with a piece of Velcro on here. And that is to set it up in porch mode. So one thing you will need is uh, for uh, each door, you'll need an extra stake. So whenever I ordered this tent, I ordered a couple extra stakes from uh, Tarp Tent and uh, they went ahead and sent an extra bag, which is cool. So just the same basic kind of stakes and you'll need to add an extra guy line onto each door um, like I have done here. A uh, really simple process and you'll just take each door and a trekking pole set up about this high, really short. You can slide this loop, this Grogain loop around your trekking pole to hold it up and you're just going to pin it out kind of like this here. All right, so I got my two poles staked out here. Uh, they're not like a specific height you need to set these for, you're just gonna have to figure it out. Uh, they're really short, almost fully compacted all the way up. Um, but this is porch mode. And uh, so basically what we did was take our two doors, stretch them out, and then you take this extra piece of material that comes from this door over here, and it unrolls and basically just attaches to the Velcro that's on the other side. So you have that there, and uh, that's the porch mode. So. Uh, just really cool gives you a lot of protection up underneath here and a lot of great views and ventilation at the same time and uh, just a really neat feature of this tent you can do this on both sides have great ventilation as well as rain protection and uh, when you don't need it uh, like i said this little piece here just rolls up under this door you'll never even know it's there and it's just a really cool feature of this tent uh, one of the things like i said that really sold me on this tent. So I'll give you a shot of what the gap looks like under the tent. Um, this is your airflow gap. Um, you can tell about how much rain fly you have sticking up. Now you can cinch that down more um, if for some reason you're getting some sort of splatter, but I believe this fly does come down a little bit lower than on previous versions. And uh, you're still getting plenty of airflow through there. And I don't have any worries about uh, splatter from uh, rain. Um, they also have this uh, vent here so if you do have your uh, doors all the way down you do still have ventilation from underneath and then a vent on each side up above here's a little closer shot of that uh, top crossbar that I was talking about before um, it just slides in and out of these grommets here and uh, packs up before I think this was completely attached and didn't come out so you had to roll it up um, but it comes apart uh, there's the gap in the middle that's where it splits and folds in half um, and just stuffs down into your stuff sack really nicely just go ahead and give you one quick uh, shot of about how translucent the material is now you can definitely see 
um, those bright colored pads in there but it's not as translucent as say cuban fiber you can't see straight through it um, so you do have some sort of privacy definitely um, at dusk or at nighttime um, i think you'll have no problem um, it's not uh, any more translucent uh, than most other tents. Only uh, difference is you don't have that double wall feature. So if we slide over here to the side um, where you also have uh, the netting that you're looking through, you can tell it's a little bit darker uh, looking through there. So you'll be able to see shapes uh, looking through the tent, uh, but you won't be able to see uh, everything that's going on in there. Um, definitely not a concern for me. Um, like I said, I had Cuban fiber uh, before this, which is way more translucent. Um, and uh, just uh, no, no uh, worries about that at all. Just wanted to uh, show you what that looks like. All right, so that's enough about the outside. Let's take a look at the inside of the tent. I have this door opened up and rolled back. It clips to the tent on the same piece of grogain that the outside door clips to. Um, and if you uh, wanted to clip it back with uh, this door shut, you could clip it straight to uh, this other clip that is uh, in between the two layers. So this is the floor of the uh, double rainbow. Uh, you might can make it out. I've put some uh, seam sealer on the floor. If you've never slept on seal nylon, it's extremely slick. So um, I painted some stripes of uh, seam sealer on here. That's just to give it a little bit of a tacky feel and that keeps your uh, pad from sliding around. So this is the inside of the tent. Uh, you can tell you got plenty of headroom. Definitely can sit up in here. Um, one thing they did with this tent was make the apex uh, about 33% wider. So uh, you have uh, much more room in here than in the previous version. And they made the floor a couple inches wider as well to accommodate some bigger pads. And I'll show you what that looks like. Um, one of the features is if you want a little more ventilation, um, you can leave the uh, floor unclipped like it is down here. You can see how much room you have uh, for airflow down there. That is still completely covered. So if you're in uh, some sort of rain, um, it's still covered. If you're in a much stronger rain or want to block out some of the wind, you can clip the floor up like what I have down here. And that does a great job at blocking the wind and rain, um, which is uh, really neat. These clips here, I believe, are for uh, the extra uh, wall you can have to make this a double layer tent. I don't use that. Um, so uh, you just have some extra clips to be able to clip on uh, whatever you would like. Um, there's one up in each corner and then one on each side. So that's a uh, kind of a cool feature. Um, they have added these gear pockets in the doors so you can put uh, whatever you want down inside there. They don't have uh, pockets on each end like a lot of tents have. Uh, so that's basically uh, what you have there. Or like I said, you can use the clips to clip in um, whatever you want. Um, there's plenty of room in here. I am sitting up right now. I'm about six foot tall and I'm right in the middle and I still have several inches above my head. Um, definitely don't feel claustrophobic in here at all. Um, the walls on the sides don't angle in too much. So before um, your side walls would have been like this on each side. Um, this definitely has them feel more straight up and down. They're not uh, straight up for sure. They are angled in some, but uh, plenty of headroom. If you are going to use this as a one person tent, um, you have a ton of room in here. If uh, you're using this as a two person tent, um, there's still plenty of room for each of you. And I'll go ahead and set up my pads and show you about how much room uh, each person has. All right, so here's a shot of two pads in here. I have two different kinds of pads. I have a uh, regular size pad, which is the C to Summit uh, up close to us. That is uh, your normal 20 inches wide by uh, six foot long. The back one is a Big Agnes. That's a large size. It's way thicker. It's also uh, five inches wider, so 25 inches wider, or I'm sorry, 25 inches wide, um, as well as six inches longer, so about six foot six. So I have these pushed all the way down to the end, and uh, you can tell on the uh, thinner pad, you have room for your sleeping bag down there, but on the uh, Big Agnes that's a little bit thicker, your sleeping bag may or may not be touching the top, uh, which you don't want in a single wall tent. So you probably would have to compensate by sliding that pad down a little bit. Um, but 
you can tell how much room you have up on your head end so i just have these pushed all the way down just to show all the room on one end so definitely enough room uh, to put some extra gear or clothing or whatever you may have now there is plenty of room in the vestibule to put uh, probably one pack in each side um, so uh, that wouldn't be a problem as far as storing your pack but if you have smaller things uh, or if you're like i am and like to keep some of your stuff inside water or lights whatever uh, you have for the night um, you do have plenty of room in here with uh, two pads now i have each pad um, all the way up against each side and you can tell that there's still a couple inches in here so you could fit two large 25 inch pads side by side it would just take up uh, the entire floor um, this way you still have a little extra room now you don't have to worry about uh, touching the sides on this because they are mesh and there is a double wall uh, effect basically on the sides and that's another a key feature I like of the double rainbow as opposed to some of the other tarp tents. Um, if you're not familiar with single wall shelters, um, that is on the end, that layer of material is uh, your only uh, layer between you and the outside. And you may tend to get some condensation during colder weather or with uh, poor ventilation. That's why you want to get as much ventilation in these tents as possible. Um, but the cool thing about the double rainbow is all along each side, you basically have a double wall shelter. And so uh, that minimizes the effect of the single wall tent. Um, so plenty of room in there with two pads. Um, I have uh, slept in here uh, with my wife before and uh, there's plenty of room for two people. Like I said, I've also camped uh, with just me and it's like a palace for one person. A ton of room in there, especially when you have it opened up. Um, that's one of the great things about this tent is uh, the views and ventilation you can get. Um, basically having um, the whole side or each side of your tent uh, completely exposed uh, is a really cool feature. All right, one last really big key feature that is uh, definitely a big selling point for some people. I have never personally used this feature, uh, but it is neat that Tarp Tent uh, has put this on here, is the uh, freestanding feature of this tent. So you don't need to have it staked at all. Uh, if you so choose, um, say you're putting it on uh, some sort of slab or uh, a, a wooden uh, platform or something like that that you're not able to stake your tent down, um, you can use a trekking pole. Now the way that works is you need one that stretches out to uh, at least uh, 145 centimeters, uh, which this one does. And uh, basically what I do is I take my guy line off of my stake here and I slip the handle end of my trekking pole into this cup. Then coming over to the uh, center piece, um, I unvelcro this piece that just goes uh, right around where your pole inserts into it. Put my trekking pole down in there and uh, re-velcro it. That holds uh, tension right here. Come on down to the other end where I have pulled out my stake and I slide the uh, pointy end of my trekking pole, uh, the end that goes toward the ground, into uh, this sleeve here and tighten it up so now basically you just got a uh, freestanding tent i could pull um, all my stakes out of this end like i have and i could do the same on the other end set it up with my trekking pole and i would be able to pick my tent up and move it around wherever i want set it up say uh, on a beach or a platform of some sort and uh, that's just a really cool uh, freestanding feature of this tent like i said have never used that um, i don't see myself needing to use that um, but it is a cool uh, feature uh, that's just an added bonus to this tent. Well, there you go, guys. There's your look at the 2019 version of the Tarp Tent Double Rainbow. Like I said, I've had the older version of this tent. Um, I have 100% confidence in it. Uh, Tarp Tent and Henry Shires, they make great tents. Um, just really excited about this tent. Uh, it's just an excellent, excellent product. Um, if you have any questions about this, you can comment down below or go check out Tarp Tent's website. Um, they sell these for about $300, which is an awesome value um, for a lightweight backpacking tent. Um, yeah, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you down the trail.